the Keck School of Medicine, we have a history of phenomenal clinical experiences. In addition to that, we have a large variety of simulation centers and opportunities that augment our actual clinical patient experiences, allowing learners to practice and learn in environments before they go into the clinical setting with actual patients. Simulation plays an incredibly large role in medical education today. No longer can we accept the fact that students, residents, or really anybody practices skills on real patients. Instead, they need a safe environment where they can go practice and hone a skill before they transfer that skill to the clinic, the OR, or any medical setting. At Keck, we're very fortunate to have a variety of venues where we have simulation from our clinical skills center in the center of campus to our surgical skills center to our fresh tissue lab and other settings over in our county hospital facility. So we're able to have students and learners of all levels participating in simulation activities all at the same time doing very different activities in our various centers. On any given day, we may have three, four, or even five labs going at the same time. We may have medical students over in the inanimate lab learning how to suture, while we have PGY-5 residents over in the fresh tissue dissection lab learning a Whipple on our Perfuse model. So on any given day, we look at the level of the learner, the skill that we need to teach, and where that skill will best be taught. The history is so rich here at USC. If you think of simulation in education, the first standardized patient was developed here. First computer simulated mannequin was developed here. Not only our history, but also the diverse and rich pool of talent that we have makes it the place to come for students to get a really good foundation in their clinical skills. The SPs are so believable that when you're talking with them, the world actually shrinks so that it's just you and them. and you know, you don't really realize when you're talking to the SP that, you know, your peers are around you and you're being evaluated by an instructor. It's just you and the patient. The Surgical Skills Simulation and Education Center is specifically designed to teach surgical skills. So it has a wide variety of task trainers and simulators and inanimate training devices that we use to teach all sorts of clinical skills. The simulation laboratory boasts the ability to perfuse tissue so people get a real-time experience with tissue reaction and whole teams come and participate in the care of a patient so a lot of interprofessional skills are practiced. We have a simulated operating room over there where we're able to put a pig's heart into a thoracic cavity of one of our models and put it on a bypass machine and we teach our cardiac surgeons how to operate on a beating heart that's actually beating. The Independent Practice Lab is the newest addition to our simulation program. It's a space designed specifically for medical students to practice the core procedural skills that they're going to graduate with competency in. It's uh, very popular and one of our instructors often will meet a student and go over something they're having difficulty with or help them work through whatever their particular learning process is so that they can master the skill. And another facility we, is our animal lab, where we teach laparoscopic skills to surgeons and GYN residents using an animal model. I think the gem of our program is our fresh tissue dissection lab. It's a very unique program that we have. We have the ability to perfuse a cadaver model so that the cadaver will bleed red if you hit an artery and it will bleed blue if you hit a vein. This is the most real life simulation model that exists anywhere in the nation. The change in the community and the change that we're bringing to medicine at USC, we're rehearsing prior to actual performance. They come to the lab, they practice in the lab, they sit at the scrub sink and they say, yeah, I did this yesterday in the fresh tissue lab. I read your chapter and we practice this with the same instruments we use in surgery in the same patient position with the similar patient on the table. So that nowhere else you can do in the country, nowhere else you can do in the world. The real benefit of simulation for medical training lies in the fact that we've created a safe environment to practice skills, to build muscle memory, 
and to learn from our mistakes without impacting a real patient. To be able to go in and practice something over and over and over until you get it right, until you're sure that you got it right and you actually know you can perform it. That's the beauty of the simulation center. We had to practice saying the words out loud. Now we know the motions. We are familiar with the equipment. So the first time we touch the equipment, it won't be in a clinic for the first time or at the hospital for the first time. And getting that feedback and being able to incorporate all of that together really makes me feel like when the time comes, it's I've done the practice. I've seen myself. I know what to work on. I can do it.